These are just some of what former Donald Trump said after he was accused of being guilty in the hush money trial. A Manhattan jury found Donald Trump guilty of all 34 charges of falsifying business records on Thursday. This historic verdict makes Trump the first former president in American history to be convicted of a felony. Trump is also the first major party presidential nominee to be convicted of a crime during a campaign for the White House. If he defeats President Joe Biden in November, he will be the first sitting president in history to be a convicted felon. The verdict in the hush money trial came after jurors deliberated for nearly 12 hours over two days. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, a Democrat, announced charges against Trump last year presenting the first indictment of a former president. Trump was accused of falsifying records to cover up a $130,000 payment his former lawyer Michael Cohen made to adult film star Stormy Daniels to keep her quiet about an alleged affair with Trump before the 2016 election. Trump has denied the affair. At a news conference Thursday evening, Bragg acknowledged the historic nature of the case and the conviction. He stated that while Trump is a unique defendant in American history, the verdict was reached in the same manner as every other case, by following the facts and the law without fear or favor. The 12 jurors vowed to make a decision based on the evidence and the law alone, Bragg said. Their deliberations led to a unanimous conclusion beyond a reasonable doubt that Donald J. Trump is guilty of 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree to conceal a scheme to corrupt the 2016 election. During the seven-week trial, the district attorney's office called 20 witnesses to show how the hush money payment to Daniels was part of a pattern of payoffs to suppress negative stories about Trump before the election. They also highlighted Trump's concern about the impact on his campaign when the payment was made in October 2016. Michael Cohen, the prosecution's key witness, testified that Trump directed him to pay Daniels and later approved a plan to repay him in $35,000 monthly installments in 2017, with the amount increased to cover taxes Cohen would owe. Judge Juan Merchan scheduled Trump's sentencing for July 11, 2024, at 10 a.m., just days before the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Todd Blanche, Trump's attorney, told CNN's Caitlin Collins on The Source that they will vigorously fight in post-trial motions due to Mershon in a few weeks. If unsuccessful, Blanche said they would appeal after sentencing. This historic trial has seen a former president found guilty of falsifying business records. We'll keep you updated on the sentencing and appeals. Stay informed and stay safe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.